We're back again for another vector proof in this video. And in part A of this question, we want to find an expression for the vector O to N. So it's from O here to N. So first of all, let's use a diagram to help us uh, work some things out. And OACB is a parallelogram. So that tells us that these opposite sides are going to be equal. So this side here, OA is vector A. So equally, BC will be vector A. And same with the bottom side here, OB is vector B. So that means AC will also be vector B. Another interesting thing to note is that D is the point such that AC, so this vector, is equal to CD, which is this vector. So let's add another B vector in here. And the last important thing about the diagram is that the point N divides AB in the ratio 2 to 1. So let's mark it on the diagram, this ratio 2 to 1 for these two lines. And whenever we see ratio in one of these questions, we should be thinking about fraction. We're going to be working with a fraction of 2 thirds a bit later, aren't we? As in A to N is 2 thirds of this line, and this is the remaining 1 third. Much more useful to work with fractions. So our expression for the vector O to N, let's think about how we're going to do this. To go from O to N, we're going to first have to go from O to A, and then from A to N. So let's write that down. We're doing O to A plus A to N. To do that from O to A, we're doing our vector A. And then our a to n, this is where we're using our two thirds. We're going two thirds of the way from a to b. So let's pause for a second, because we don't actually know the vector a to b yet. But it's reasonably easy to work out. So to go from a to b, we start here at a, we need to go back to o, so it's a minus a. And then we're adding a b to get to b. So we've got minus a plus b. Well, let's put that then into our vector for o to n, because we had a plus two thirds of our a to b, which we now know is minus a plus b. So our final result for the vector o to n, we've got a minus two thirds of a, so we're going to be left with one third of a. And we've just got for the b's two thirds of b. Two thirds of b. Now, actually, it's going to be really helpful for us later, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now, just taking out this factor of a third from our vector o to n. So one third a plus two b factorized. That's our o to n. So that's part a in this question. For part B, we would like to prove that OND is a straight line. And like all straight line vector proofs, let's think about the parts of this line. So we've got one part of OND, that's ON, and the other part is OD. So we want to look at this smaller part, that's ON. Then we're going to look at the larger part, I'm not going to try and draw it, from O to D. And we'd like to show that these two are scalar multiples of one another. That means they must be parallel. And the fact that they have the point O in common, that means they're in fact the same line. So let's try and find our vector then, going from O to D, because we already know the vector O to N. So to go from O to D, we need first to go from O to A, which is just vector A. First, we're going O to A, that's vector A. And then the second part is you need to go from A through C all the way to D. And we can see that this top line is just going to be plus 2B. So we'll put here from A to D, and that's just plus 2B. This should look really good for us at the moment, because we've got vector ON, which was a third of A plus 2B. Now we've shown that OD 
is just a plus 2b. These vectors look really, really similar. So actually making it clear, the relationship between them, is we can say the vector on is one third of the vector od. This is our relationship between the two vectors. Because they're identical inside the brackets, a plus 2b, it was just that factor of one third. This means that the two vectors must be parallel, and because they have O in common, they must be the same straight line.